Tropical Storm Melissa updates for October 22nd, 2025. Good morning, I'm meteorologist Pew, and yeah, let's talk about her because she has the potential to be an extremely devastating storm. For the past few days, we've been pretty uncertain on where Melissa was going to go because models were in disagreement of where she was going to go. But for today's update, most models are suggesting that she's going to stay to the west and then stay in the Caribbean and not drift to the north immediately. And so in this moment, ensembles are in agreement of the Euro's models. And if you watched yesterday's video, then you know that the Euro model took Melissa into a very conservative path where she stayed in the Caribbean for for a long period of time and intensified very quickly. And unfortunately, looking at the Euro model today, that has pretty much stayed consistent. Even looking at the official projected path by the National Hurricane Center, Melissa does look like she's gonna be trending to the west. And the longer Melissa stays in the Caribbean, the more she's gonna strengthen for three reasons. The first is that the sea surface temperatures are still around 85 degrees Fahrenheit, which is very warm for this time of year and an ample amount of heat. Second, there is a minimal amount of shear. So looking at the surface to 500 millibars, looking at bulk shear, soon as Melissa goes to the west, there's gonna be a lot less shear around like less than 10 knots. And third, looking at the mid-levels for moisture, there is a little bit of dry air coming from the north, but there does seem to be an ample amount of moisture coming from Central America into Melissa. And so in this moment, Melissa is actually moving about two miles per hour, which is practically stationary. And the reason why is we look at the mid-levels again, she is sitting between two high pressures and they're clockwise flow. And because she's sitting between them, they're having opposite flows, one going from the north and one going from the south. And her projected path is basically going to be depending on the influence of either one. But right now, it does look like the one in the Gulf is influencing her the most. And so one of the reasons why I think the high pressure in the Gulf is going to be more superior in influencing Melissa to stay in the Caribbean is because if we look at the states, we have this low pressure that's coming from the California coast and traveling eastward. And as this low pressure or trough moves to the central part of the US, it's going to deepen just a little bit and push itself into the Gulf where that high pressure is, which is going to force itself to move a little bit more to the east, which is going to influence more of that northeasterly winds into Melissa. So for places like Jamaica and Haiti, I would watch Melissa extremely closely for the the next few days. Now going back to the states, that mid-level low pressure that I just talked about that's going to the central part of the U.S., that's going to happen around Friday. And with that, at the surface, it's going to be bringing in a low pressure somewhere around Texas. And with this other trough in the northeast start pushing away, we're going to have a high pressure somewhere around the Great Lakes region. And with this high pressure and this low pressure, it's going to be bringing in a lot of moisture from the Gulf into Texas, which is going to bring in a lot of rain. So that's for Friday. But for today, we actually have a fire hazard in the southeast part of the app. And the reason why is because of two things. One, we just had a cold front pass through, which just brings cool, dry air into the region. And with this low pressure somewhere around the northeast that's clockwise flow, bringing in a lot of westerly winds. And because we have the mountains somewhere on this end, we're going to have a lot of downslope flow, which draws out a lot of moisture from the winds and brings in more drier air. We're going to see around 10 to 15 mile per hour sustained winds with relative humidities below 30%.